Okay, so today we're going to do a little bit introduction on Woodpecker, which is a plugin for Rhino and Grasshopper. So Woodpecker is a plugin for Grasshopper that can extend parametric models into fabrication. Turn especially wood construction, it offers several Grasshopper components that can <coughs> turn input geometry into fabrication data in VTL format. So actually, it's a it's not a model tool, it's uh, actually turning your model, your design into reality by fabrication, manufacturer, manufacturing, producing. And the whole process is could be divided into Rhino model, you have uh, your Rhino model, and then you modify with Woodpecker, kind of finalize with it, and then you s it sends to fabrication. So right here, it, there are three images. These images are, this design, this, um, Fabrication may not be designed, may not be produced by woodpecker, but it shows the potential of it. So you can see in this first image there are la there are layers and a uh, cut out wood pieces and with uh, with cut out curves. So it could be done, cut, and produced by woodpecker cutting through and cutting through and then put them together. So that's a potential. It has future values of it, and then. Talking about speaking of BTL, so what is BTL? BTL is building transfer language. So BTL can be used by every design, software, and every machine. And also BTL includes a complete description of the format and all processes. BTL de describes parts in the machine independently, geometry format. So um, BTL is still a new system new product which came out just a couple years a couple um, half years ago so but it's getting really standard it's getting trying to get a get a standard value level rapidly so and there are a lot of manufacturing uh, factories are using it as well so it can you can see these these images so these are cut and produced by woodpecker with by btl so it has your each component of your structure, each component of your geometry, of your design, it shows everything. For instance, this kind of complex geometry, so each this curve, these ribs, are all defined and uh, um, specific and listed specifically in Woodpecker, BTL editor. It shows dimensions and the cut, how it's cut, it's really specific and in a standard of producing, putting them together cutting by systems so that's btl and then let's jump to this is the website this is the website um, that produces woodpecker and the btl editor and a ligno cam so right here a mechanism so you can see sort of you can see a couple of uh, uh, um, mechanism that um, Tools that can use that can that can be applied by you see is being processed that can be applied by woodpecker and BTL. Is that how it's cut? So it's really getting a standard level. So you can see this these really standard value of this. So now let's jump into um, woodpecker and grasshopper. So. When you actually open, when you actually when you actually open um, a Grasshopper, and then there's a file, there's a link in the toolbar of the BTL file, so that would be where the Woodpecker components are. So let now let's go through every component. So right here, BTL pocket. So BTL pocket they actually represents a BTL pocket operation. Pocket operation. So you can say you have an object you want to cut a cut a cut through a hole or cut through a whatever shape rectangular or square shape cut through the object. So then so then first a pocket base plane. So you can set one plane. Let's want to say right here. And then you, once you have a plane set set up, then right here is length, width. And the angle. So what we have to do is we add number of sliders. Yeah, num 
number slider. You have you add number sliders into these values. Now you can see there's a kind of like the cut in the like pocket cut right here. So you can change you can change you can change the length. You can change you can change the length. You can change the width. So you can right now you can see one in let's go to twenty. Now you can see now yeah you can change the width length. Yeah. and the angle so that's the angle angle how <clears throat> how thick how thick you want to cut a done that's the angle right here so then that's pocket tool and then there's a btl slot btl btl up BTL slot is actually you wanna cut cut an indent, uh, cut an indent, and then you have BTL slot. So this function is kind of is working kind of similarly with BTL pocket. So we have your slot plane, for instance, just set one plane, and then you have number. Have number slider going into each of them. So that be width, thick thickness, angle one, and angle two. So let's see how it does. So on width, it changes the width, thickness, it changes the thickness, and the angle is starting to. Make this then make this slot become three dimensional right now. The surface, see, you can see it actually getting angle angular, it's getting deeper. So, right here, so you can see right here, so it's getting deeper. You can see it forms kind of like that, and then you put this thing. In right into your object and then you can just cut you can just um, cut through not cut through you can just make a dent on, on your you can, um, on your object so that's these two tools and then right here is contour so contour line is where you can see this um, edge you can see um, there are two sets of edge uh, lines Curve, so you can set them and the, where wherever you want to cut it. So you have one set of curve, which is master curve, which is your basic curve, and the slave curve, which is your secondary curve, maximum deviation, and the extend slave curve. So, for instance, you want to cut this surface. You have your master curve. For instance, these two, and this this one and then you have your secondary curve on this one so they will just cut this way right here just cut through i'm gonna do an example on this so in a minute so then btl part so btl part is actually something that can represent your your um link linking with your direct so, so for instance you have a box then you right click on it set one breath so that's your breath plane you can set plane maximum contour deviation Tex textural properties you can add the names on it operation this I'm gonna do an example on this in, uh, in, in, in a second so yeah and then we have this BTL part so this thing it's kind of simple. These two are similar, but this one is part. This one is gener generates more functions. So this thing is actually just a set one box. So as we talked about, so you have BTL part. 
So <clears throat> this thing just represents a part, so a work piece. So when you right click on B, it says like box, representing a box of uh, block of material. So you can actually set one box. And then you can, it kind of gives you a frame so you can drag your drag your your object into into the frame. Then you can see you can see how, for instance, like this green box is it will be the uh, the 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 wood cut the the whole piece of wood, and then the set the the your object inside is sitting in in it. So you can see you can see how it's cut. So you can see how it's cut out of. Uh, 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 an entire block of wood, so that's this. And then the textural properties is it's just text you want to whatever text you want to put on. Let's say test change. And then another way to change it is to you go to text. You go to text and then set text wood piece. And then connect to this. So there are two ways of, of adding, of, um, editing test. And then all these operations connecting with, with um, these, with these tools. So that's this. And then I have this cut tool, BTL cut. This tool is actually you set a plane. This where you want to cut your object. For instance, you have you set a plane. So that's this. So then you, you can drag your object between through this so it kind of it shows a cut tool, cut line, cut section. So we export it, so this thing will be automatically cut off. So you can see the cut section right here. That's this. And then two angles. And the triangle cut. Triangle cut is actually when you cut it with the angle. With the with the angle. So for instance, you have some some shape like this. For instance, you have some shape like this. So right here is the angle. So what you can do is set two angles. Set one plane. Set a second plane. So now it shows it has a angular cut, angular plane right here. Right here. So it, it can sat satisfy your design how you however you wanna cut it. So it can it can cut like angular. So that's cutting tool. And then this and then the drilling. The drilling is 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 on your object where you is on your object where you wanna drill a hole. For instance, let's drag this, make this clear, and then let's see this. This first, okay. And then this is ready. So the first option is axis. So the axis uh, represents where you want to draw a hole at, and the diameter. Diameter, diameter is you can control the diameter. So I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna show an example on this. So in a minute. Then BTL project. BTL project is actually come. It's coming to the end. So whatever you have right here. It's gonna all plug into it with this. So this is the end. When you have this, when you, you when you have everything linked with this, you're ready to export. You're ready to export. When you right click on it, export. So you you export to BTL files. So that's why you have to go to that website, download the uh, BTL editor. Then you can open it and see every detail in it. So that's this. And then <coughs> right here, BTL part properties. And the uh, BT and the uh, BTL property project um, properties. So these two, these two are not. These two are more like a note or like um, this designation or this designation or um, values of well val val values of um, your design. For instance, it has de designation, annotation, group. Materials, timber grade. So materials, you can have your material plugging and plugging with material. For instance, 
and then also you have project number, um, project name, project name, for instance, a set name, like wood, um, wood piece, Oops. wood piece, so that's how you set it, wood piece, and then, so these are all information on your project, you want to you wanna bring this in. So when you actually plug this in to um, C Red Textural 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 Properties, we actually plug these two. So after you after you um, export, so the BTL editor shows everything, every information you have in, on, on the file. So that's kind of we went over all the tools. So now let's jump into a specific example. Let's try this. Okay, so let's try an example right here. Let's see how it actually does. Uh, <clears throat> so for instance, you have this object, right? So you want to cut. You want to cut. You want to produce with woodpecker. So then what you're going to do is go to BTL, you select uh, BTL part from B right, <clears throat> and then right click, right click on B, so one right, B right, B right, so it actually sets up. So now you can see there's a red box just surrounding your object through the edge, right here, through the edge, through the edge of the surface. Through the through the ed, through the edge of the surface right here, so it actually kind of like so you can see this red box is representing a block on um, a panel of wood. So you can see how how it's cut through out of the, the the piece of wood. So it actually maximizes the efficiency of material, not wasting materials. So now you can see this and then. And then what you're gonna do is you you have cutting lines, you have cutting tours, contour. So right here, BTL contour, right here. So as we talked about, there are two sets of line curves that you need to cut because it's a it's a three dimensional object. So now let's set up for one curve. Right click on MC multiple curve. So you select you select curves one. So you have one set of curve set up. Click it, um, press enter. So you set. One. Then you set another one. One thing there's a reminder that you um, you have to memorize is when you when you actually set multiple curves, the order of setting curves has to be the same. For instance, what we set is this, this, this. So as we talked about. Now we're ready to set another, the secondary curve, cutting contour. So the cutting contour, the order you have selected must be the same. So it has, has to be like this, and then the bottom one will be also like this. If you set this first, and then when you select in the bottom one, you select this first, then it's gonna, not going to work. So select multiple curves. That's the order. We started from there. Now, now we have two set of curve. So right now you can see there's a contour line. There's a line. See that green area representing the where your your edge wanna where 
well, is cutting, is cutting through it. So the deviation, you can, you can, you can put a number slider into your um, deviation right here. So now you can see right here the curve will be more obvious. So you can you can kind of kind of change the deviation. So the larger deviation is getting more flat. It's getting not smooth. So the smaller it gets, it's getting more um, smooth. So let's say right here, we're good. And uh, remember the maximum that deviation cannot be zero, and it's not going to work. So we have this. So now we have this, and then we have two curves set up already, and then we have to set up curve, set up contour curve for this indent, for this um, slot. So then we have another contour thing, and then we set multiple curves. We can do this. You set this is bottom one. This is master curve, and then we set another curve. So you have really have to follow the water. So now, now we have to see so the green area. So it's presenting is being cutting, is being cut. So we have this, and then the last one would be selecting the selecting the the indent curve right here. So what we want, so what we want, so what we want to do is you set another. Now we're doing setting another the indent curve, so right here. So let's turn it into wireframe. It makes more obvious. So then we set the master curve, some multiple curves. So that'll be. So that'll be this. The inset curve right here. This. So that's one curve, and then send another curve, the bottom one, We're starting from here. Right here, and then the next curve is one by one. Just select, select all of them. So now, <coughs> Had this, you can see the green lines representing the done cutting contour. So now you're ready. You you have all your contour lines set up. And then, for instance, you wanna draw a hose, draw a drill, drilling hose in it. That's kind of typical thing for wood construction. So what you're gonna do is you create a line. For instance, you create you. So now we wanna creating cutting drilling holes. So what we are what we have to do is create a bunch of lines where you want your where you want see there's a line so where you want your drilling holes are at. So for instance you remove this. Another one. Set another one. Set another one. So we have four of them. So we have four of them. You can see right here. One, two, three, four. So now what we have to do is go to Grasshopper, create a curve component, set multiple curves, select all of them, all of them. Now, once it's set up, <coughs> then you use this reading component and plug this in. 
So now you see once it's plug in, plug it in, you can see it, it creates kind of like a circle. The drilling hole is going through, and then you can have number slider to control. You can have the number slider to, con to control to con um, control the drilling diameter. I say now it's good. Okay, so once you have everything settled down at this point, so you bring your Object your B red component. You connect everything to O to operation to operation to operation. So now it's all, all good, and then you're ready to export. Then you have your ETL export P2P, connect them, and then right click on it, export BTL file. So now right there is saying the same where is is saving as it's kinda convenient for people to use and then you can open it. Oops. Well something <clears throat> was going wrong causing some errors. So probably when I was doing the contour for the intent. Probably so. When you actually, you have to be really specific and really carefully, really careful when when you're actually modeling modeling your thing, like where the edge is gonna be cut, where where the drilling holes are gonna be at, and the dimensions. You have to you have to set really carefully because BTL reviewers is really specific and really limited and really sophisticated on these data, these these numbers. So I apologize for that, and then. For instance, once it's, I use the example, so for instance, once it's exported, so you can open it. So, you can say, you can see, this is really um, sophisticated. It shows shows everything you're drawing. So, it's your detail, detail drawings. See how it's cut, you where you want to cut. It's really sophisticated and really is specific. And then when you click on it, Angle, for instance, angle braids. It shows the detail of it. It shows the detail, detail of that, and see right when you click on it, you can see the specific cutting edge, the cutting drawing on your right up, upper right corner, right there. And then, for instance, uh, let's click on post, and then click on cut. So that's where. That's where it's being. That's where it's being cut, and then there's a diagram showing um, how it's cut. For instance, angle brace drilling. So just like what we did, it creates a drilling hole through it. You can see the, the drilling, the, the angle and the dimension, how it's how it's, it's drilling. So it has everything. Everything your 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 workpiece. It's gonna be how it's gonna be cut, how it's gonna produce, and these values show show. Um, so you can change this for single member number. Let's say ten. So that change actually. Well, yeah, these numbers are quite specific and a uh, really. And leading to uh, how it's gonna how it's gonna produce how it's gonna cut so and the this one p2 p10 we, these are all representing the how what for instance the the division um, the components of each surface for instance this whole surface and you have 10 or two, how many components they can break down into into pieces Break down into pieces. So these and also these are views, elevation and section. So yeah, pretty much that's 
um, BTL editor with Pecker. So it's a, it's a really is a really um, specific and a um, sophisticated tool system that um, uh, designer and the manufacturer uh, manufacturer um, people or engineers and construction management they can get handle and produce produce um, based on customize your own design not for this simple geometries for instance there might be some there might be some really com really there, there might be some really um, complex um, shape that can also be cut but I think the the key of this tool is used to cut in each member and the each member there's a connection joint between with another each another number well never mind another number so it's not really working for 3d printer so you can just print out everything is more you can print separately individual member component and then for instance these 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 connections and then you cut them out and then you cut another and then you assemble you assemble them together so i think that's um a little bit um so I think I think that's a little bit um, introduction on woodpecker. Thanks.